looking at it. We have a lot of different uh, concepts right now. Uh, they have a lot of different things happening with respect to transgender right now. You know that as well as I do, and we're looking at it very seriously. Mr. President, to protect the LGBT I'm protecting everybody. You know what I'm doing? I'm protecting everybody. Reports of a move by the Trump administration to consider narrowly defining gender through a strictly biological framework determined by a person's genitals at birth has put the transgender community on edge. But what could this narrow legal definition actually mean in the long run? What this seems to be, and remember we haven't seen the memo yet, um, but what it seems to be is, a, is an effort to unify the federal government in an interpretation that transgender people do not have any, any legal rights to justify why they haven't been enforcing the federal laws that they are required to enforce. Activists like Mara Kessling see this as an alarming but not all that surprising development. The Trump administration has been rolling back Obama-era protections for transgender people. In February 2017, the government revoked a rule under Title IX that allowed transgender students to use bathrooms, locker rooms, and other facilities that correspond with their gender identity. It's also attempted to ban transgender troops from serving in the military. Sir, why did you decide to announce the transgender ban reversal? Are you betraying the community that you pledged to support? No, no. Look, I have great respect for the community. I think I have great support, or I've had great support from that community. I got a lot of votes. As you know, it's been a very complicated issue for the military. It's been a very confusing issue for the military. And I think I'm doing the military a great favor. It's important to understand first that this administration has been abdicating its responsibilities to enforce federal law. They've been refusing to enforce Title IX, education discrimination, Title VII, employment discrimination. There's anti-discrimination provisions in the Affordable Care Act that they've been refusing to um, uh, enforce uh, for transgender people. A further change would affect the estimated 1.4 million Americans who identify as transgender. 